G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Very short video on how to put the uh, club box working doors into your existing kits. Let's check out the workbench. It's a bit messy, sorry. It's a pretty simple process. Right, are your doors going to consist of four parts. The actual door. The door is engraved on both sides and has a peg at the top and at the bottom. There's a door frame. This goes on the inside of the model. There's a base plate and a top plate. They're very small parts so just be careful when you're popping them out of the sprue. Um, as you can see here you'll get uh, 12 doors on the sprue and um, you know just pop them out of the, the sprue. So the first thing we need to do is install the base plate. Now I've got a little building here. Um, you can see my door is on the right hand side of the building so I want the door to swing to the right. So when I look at this little piece we can see it's got a notch on one side and this weird little notch on the other. So I want this weird little notch to be on the right hand side. I also want to make sure that when I install this piece that this notch here and this notch here on the other side are inside my door frame. And so I do that by installing this piece on an angle. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the bottom of my piece and then in my building I'll hold this piece at an angle slip it inside the door frame and push it down. So you can see that piece is now being hugged inside the door frame and on the inside oh, this orientation is super weird you can see it's got that little slot there up here. That's where my door pegs gonna sit. Okay now my frame is in place Make sure it's flush up against the outside. Now I can put my door, uh, my door frame in. So take your door frame, spread a little bit of glue uh, around the inside. I always put glue on the burnt edges. Um, and then we'll slide this into place. On the inside, it will go over the piece that we've just installed. And when we put this in place, we want to make sure that we don't bend or twist the door frame so that when uh, it dries in place, it's you know straight and level. So we'll put that in place. Next thing is our door frame. What we might want to do at this stage is just let this dry, but I'm very impatient, so I'm just going to go ahead and quite possibly glue my door shut inside the building. But it makes sense to wait at this point for your glue to dry. Now your door piece has two little pegs on it, one at the top, one at the bottom. That bottom peg needs to go in the bottom hole, so I'll just put this at an angle into that slot and push the door up into place, like that. Now that'll be quite loose, so you know the door might fall out. Because I've got some glue in there, the door's being glued into the door frame. I'll fix that in a minute. Then take your other tiny little piece. You'll see it's got a weird little cutout on one side. That needs to go over, really should have put a white, <laughs> white background, that needs to go over our peg. So I need to put some glue on it this way, I'll put some on the bottom and I'll put some on this front edge because this is going to go in and touch the edge of the inside of our wall. So I'll put some glue on there, take that piece and then slide it into place. I'll just pop my door open. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that I got glue all over my door, I would have glued it shut. Um, so that piece at the top and the piece at the bottom are what's going to make the door hinge. So we'll get that in there. Now, before you play around with your door too much, just let all of that dry. And then once that's dry, your door's going to work perfectly fine. It's going to swing inwards, it can't swing outwards. Because, oh yeah, see, just, just let your model dry. I'm going to put this in, we'll let our model dry, and, uh, and then we'll come back and have a look at our, our door and how it works. Right, so we're back. It's mostly dried. I can't be bothered waiting for it. I have gone ahead, once things had set up a little bit, and just taken some cheap super glue, really runny sort of stuff, and ran a bead across the top of the door frame, uh, across the top of the door frame here, across, across the top of the lintel here, and inside the building at the base where the, the door frames meet the bottom, just to help everything stay firmly in place. And then from the outside of the building, that's what your door frame will look like. From the outside of the building, 
that's what your door will look like. On the inside, that's what your door will look like. We do have additional door frames which you can put around this. It comes in a, a pack that includes door frames and frames for the windows. Um, and then your door will open. Now I've installed this um, so that the door swings towards the wall. And as I pointed out earlier on, you could install it so the door swings to the left or right, whichever way you want. Um, the door might be a little bit tight at first, but as it opens and closes, the two little tabs, which are square and sitting in a round hole, as that square moves around inside the round hole, it will eventually wear the sides a little bit and your door will become a little bit looser. But you can see it fits nicely in place, it doesn't shake around. Um, and there we go, that's, that's our door frame, fairly quick and easy to install. So like I said, nice and quick and simple to install. Pack comes with 12 doors, so just make sure you count up how many doors you actually need and then you know buy the appropriate number of packs to put working doors into all your club boxes. Thanks for tuning in guys, see ya.